Do you enjoy walking, running, and cycling in spectacular sunshine and awesome water views? If the answer is yes, you should check out the Bay Run. G'day guys, thanks for joining Ride With Mike. Today I'm in Sydney's inner west and I'm gonna give the Bay Run a crack. Now the Bay Run is a seven kilometer circuit of shared pedestrian and cycleway which runs through the suburbs of Five Dock, Haberfield, Roselle and Dremoyne. It also circles most of Iron Cove, hugging the shoreline and this easy trail with its stunning views have made it very popular for walkers, joggers and cyclists, especially in the morning and afternoons all year round. Now if you forget your water bottle, not to worry. The Bay Run has nine bubbles and taps spread along the route as opposed to my local, the M7, which has one for instance. Now as you've probably noticed, the Bay Run is very popular amongst locals and people like me who have travelled from Sydney's western suburbs to come and enjoy the amazing views that this cycleway has to offer. Now in its 15th year, the Bay Run Fun Run is an annual local community event held in August. It aims to inspire the local community to get out and participate in the name of exercise and raise money for local schools. The 2017 event was the most popular so far, attracting more than 2,000 walkers and runners. Okay, we're now at one of the highlights of the Bay Run, the Iron Cove Bridge. Its trust style construction method has made it a well-known icon, not just to locals, but all over Sydney. I've done some Googling. The bridge in its current form opened in 1955 and is 468 meters long, but there was another bridge before this one, which opened in 1882. In more recent times, the bridge was duplicated in 2011 with a concrete bridge to cater for additional traffic on Victoria Road and a bus lane. Fortunately for our cyclists, they put in a 4.3 meter wide cycling lane. Now one thing I did notice on the Bay Run was the amount of share bikes that littered the circuit. Some like this one had obviously been thrown into the bay and fished out, while others had their tyres kicked in and buckled. To be honest, I don't know how companies like ReadyGo and Obike get any return on their investment with all this vandalism and damage going on. Part of Iron Cove is Rod Island, named after Brent Rod who owned the island back in the day. Interestingly, in the late 1800s, the island played host to a laboratory which investigated ways to control the growing rabbit population. Today, people can go there and have picnics and wedding receptions if they like. Now for anyone that's driven on the City West Link, I'm sure you know the UTS Haberfield Rowers Club. The club has occupied this site since 1925 and in 1992 it partnered with the University of Technology with several of its members earning Olympic rowing team spots. The club building extends over the water providing patrons inside with spectacular water views. In 2013 the club underwent a $10 million refurbishment of the restaurant and rowing sheds. Another feature of the Bay Run that'll stand out to motorists on the City West Link is the new cycleway and pedestrian cable bridge. The bridge opened in 2015 over Iron Cove Creek, improving the safety for the 7,000 people who use the Bay Run each week. Furthermore, the state government is providing $2 million to widen the existing shared paths and to build a new bi-directional cycleway connecting the UTS Haberfield Rowing Club section to the new cable bridge in the hope of preventing collisions between cyclists and pedestrians. In 
more recent years, the area has seen an increase in construction activity due to the West Connex Road Tunnel Project. A community action group called West Connex Action Group, aka WAG, has since formed to protest the mega project which they believe will destroy sections of the Bay Run and its surrounding park area and spew thousands of extra cars onto local streets. Whether this turns out to be the case or not, only time will tell. Anyway guys, that's it for the Bay Run, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you like this video. See you on the next one.